Hi. In this short video, I will introduce the concept of damping in simple harmonic motion. In my previous simple harmonic motion videos, we have always assumed that friction is zero, so the oscillations continue forever with the same amplitude. However, in the real world, forces will always oppose simple harmonic motion and cause the amplitude to decrease. This is called damping. Let's look at our pendulum simulation again. Both pendulums are the same length, mass, and are both displaced by 10 degrees. The first pendulum has no friction, while the second has lots of friction. As they swing, notice that the presence of friction is not affecting the oscillation period. This is very handy, it means that a clock pendulum swinging through the air will continue to keep accurate time. But it is reducing its amplitude. On the left, notice the thermal energy bar getting larger as the friction causes kinetic energy to be converted to heat. This leaves a smaller and smaller fraction of the total energy available as either kinetic or potential energy, so the swings will get smaller and smaller. We just saw an example of light damping. This is where the resistive forces are large enough to cause the amplitude to decrease in each oscillation, but without affecting the period of the oscillations. You should also be aware of two other types of damping. Critical damping, is where the friction is high enough that the system returns to equilibrium as quickly as possible but without overshooting. This is the kind of damping you would want in car suspension, as it will prevent the car from bouncing while still allowing it to return to its equilibrium position once the bump is passed. Finally, heavy damping. This is where the friction is so high that no oscillations can take place at all. Instead, the system will slowly return to the equilibrium position over a time period much longer than that of a single oscillation.